on YouTube. Um, it's Corey. It's um, Thursday, October 14th at a little after 1.30 in the morning. And um, I know it's a little bizarre to be doing a video at 1.30 in the morning, but I wanted to do this like real quick while everything's fresh in my mind and uh, get this uploaded on YouTube. Um, for those of you guys who might be new to my channel, um, welcome. So glad to have you here. My name is Corey and I'm 30 years old from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I'm diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, bipolar type, as well as a substance abuse disorder. And I make videos on this YouTube channel talking about mental health, schizoaffective disorder, addiction, alcoholism, all the different medications I've been on over the years. So if you might be interested, awesome, stick around. Um, so what I wanted to talk about today was, today is my first day back into complete sobriety. Um, if you saw my last video, I was not doing so good. In my last video, I was struggling with addiction and schizoaffective disorder and the the two of those are kind of correlated because um the drug addiction kind of um triggers the schizoaffective disorder they kind of uh play off each other so to speak they kind of go hand in hand so um today's my first day back into complete sobriety and i'm really excited about it um I, uh, I'm a DXM addict and a marijuana addict, and um, I've, I've done a lot of drugs over the years, but those are just the two that seem to be my favorite that I always seem to come running back to. And um, I am, today I'm six days off of DXM, and this is my first day off of marijuana. That's why I'm calling this total sobriety because um, you know, a lot of times I quit using hard drugs, but I still keep smoking marijuana. And um, that's kind of what I did this past time was, um, you know, like I said, I quit the DXM six days ago and I am, I, I, I've been, since then I've been tapering down off marijuana. And I think the way I did it this time, I think the way I quit this time, um, I think this is better than how I've done it in the past because usually what I do in the past is I just go cold turkey off of everything at once. And because of that, my, my moods and my anxiety, my mental state gets all out of whack and fucked up. And, um, it usually leads to a relapse because I'm, I'm usually so stressed out and so full of rage and anger that, I just can't handle it. I just can't handle the feeling. I can't handle the sobriety. Um, but this time I took things nice and slow. Um, instead of quitting things cold turkey, I tapered off of it. Um, I've been gradually tapering off of the weed um, over the past six days. So I'm not coming off at cold turkey. I just had a little bit left last night and I finished it last night. Um, it's done, it's over, and my moods are pretty good, my anxiety is not real bad, I'm pretty calm, I don't seem to be having mood swings, and I know it's the, it's only the first day, so I'm not going to get too excited, because I know those things are going to come up, but um, it's about how I handle it, and um, speaking of how I, how, how I handle things, basically what I did yesterday to kind of get myself ready was, I went to treatment. Um, I'm in an outpatient treatment program. Actually, I should I should have mentioned that at the beginning of the video for those of you guys who are new. Um, I'm case managed by Hope Network here in Grand Rapids um, for my schizoaffective disorder bipolar type. And I'm also case managed by Mr. Daniel Cook of Telebehavioral Health US for my substance abuse services. So I'm case managed by two different agencies, one for mental health, one for substance abuse. And that seems to be a pretty helpful combination. So I went to treatment yesterday. Um, 
you know, with uh, Dan, Cl Dan Cook, my CD clinician. Um, and basically what we talked about, uh, well, not, not the only thing we talked about, but one thing that we want to work on is um, making sure I have things to do with my time while I'm off the marijuana because boredom is a really huge trigger for me. And sometimes I smoke just to have something to do. So we're trying to look at like other things I can do besides smoking. Um, so I'm, I'm talking about getting back into reading. Um, I have a stack of books this big that I keep meaning to read that I just never do. So I think that's gonna take up a lot of my time and kind of really calm me down and put me at peace. Um, few different books. Um, video games, YouTube. I'm constantly on here on YouTube watching recovery related videos, mental health related videos, um, music. I kind of like to, I constantly try to have music on. Um, I really like death metal and rap a lot, but I do listen to a little bit of everything, but those are kind of my two favorite types of music. Um, meditation, um, going to in-person meetings, because I do do a lot of online AA and NA and CA meetings, but I'm also trying to get into the habit of going to in-person meetings at the Alano Club, my local Alano Club that I like to go to. Um, and I'm also thinking about pursuing smart recovery again. Before the pandemic hit, I was doing smart recovery pretty regularly, and then I kind of stopped because of COVID-19. And now I'm thinking I want to pursue that again. Um, so I'm thinking about doing that later today um, when the Alano Club is open because they do have smart recovery on Thursdays. So yeah, just some food for thought there. But um, so that's kind of what we're working on in treatment is like coming up with a plan for me to quit smoking marijuana. So it's it's all about relapse prevention. My my treatment's all about relapse prevention. Um, that's mainly what he works with me on. So we're, we're trying to come up with a plan so I don't relapse and start smoking weed again or start doing DXM again. And I think we're doing a pretty, I think we're off to a pretty nice start. I think we're doing a pretty nice job of it so far. Um, so my first few days off DXM were really hard, you guys, like the first two or three days, um, my head was just in a fog. I was dizzy. I was lightheaded. Um, my head was spinning. It was just because, I mean, I, I went through a lot of cough syrup and, and it, it, I was talking to my friend's dad about it, about how much I drank and stuff and how I was feeling. And he was probably like, yeah, well, you're probably withdrawing from it because you had so much of it. And I was thinking, yeah, you know, he's probably right. I probably am withdrawing from it. Um, so the um the other the other problem with um my most recent relapse before I got clean here is um while I was out using drugs um my significant other my my boyfriend Mike of 12 years did break up with me um so we're not together right now um it was really hard at first and we went through we are on really good terms now but we went through about a solid week where we didn't talk at all. We had pretty much no contact. Um, and then we finally started talking again. And um, now we're back on good terms. We're not like a couple, but we are definitely really good friends and we are spending time together again. So in my opinion, that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I feel pretty good about getting clean again this time, you guys. I have a good feeling about it. Um, last night, I went to the Alano Club to hang out for a while, and I went to an in-person NA meeting there. That went really good. Um, the topic was kind of about, like, getting along with other people, that type of thing, um, showing kindness. Um, then I came home and went to... Um, my regular 10 p.m. Um, online internet AA meeting. And um, that also went really good. I've met some really good people from that group. I have a list of phone numbers so I can call if I'm having a hard time from AA and NA. Um, so that was a really good meeting too. There was a guest speaker tonight and um, he just did an amazing job. Um, 
So um, I feel pretty good about this time around. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover this morning. Um, but if you guys have any feedback for me or any questions or comments on my recovery or my drug use or schizoaffective disorder or anything, please just let me know. It might take me a couple days to get back to you because I do have a lot going on right now, but I do try to get back to all my comments. So yeah, thank you guys for checking out this video. I hope everybody has a great rest of the night slash morning and has a good day tomorrow. So thanks guys. Good night.